11 was a day that many NYPD emergency phone dispatchers won't ever forget. As Jenna DeAngelis reports, they provided a link between victims of the attacks and first responders. In the seconds after the attack at the World Trade Center, countless calls from the Twin Towers flooded the city's public safety answering center. <laughs> Hi, obviously we got a problem down at the World Trade Center. On the other end of the phone, answering the calls for help, police operator 1377, were police communication technicians like Pauline Noble. Some of us was the last person they ever spoke to. So we had to stay calm and we had to help them. 22 years may have passed, but Noble says she relives that day each year. Well, I thought they were going to get out the building and stuff like that. But, you know, I was just trying to be strong for them. You know, they were crying, they were praying, they were saying, tell my family I love them, but we just was trying to console them. As Noble and other 911 operators took in the calls, Rashawn Haynes was among those dispatching first responders to the scene. I just remember just a sense of um, community, everyone pitching in, everyone wanting to help. The work in the call center that fateful day was vital for the men and women responding on the ground here. They're our lifeline. You know, without them, without communications and something as chaotic as that, we would have definitely lost more people than we already did. Detectives Robert Zajac and Raymond Ragione with the NYPD's Emergency Service Unit both rushed into work and say it was a day unlike any in their careers. Probably 300 floors worth of buildings were in that 16 acre area, and you didn't see a desk, you didn't see a phone, you didn't see, there was nothing recognizable. It's a bad day for the, you know, police department, you know, and the guys we knew and uh, lost and all the other civilians that were lost. But uh, like Bobby will say, 25,000 people were rescued that day. It transformed public safety in the city with a focus on counterterrorism and resulted in the opening of the NYPD Joint Operations Center, a central safety hub. It gets the information out to put the officers and other agencies where they have to be. Decades later, these first responders, while carrying the pain, are still answering the call and working together to keep the city safe. They always say, we would do it again today if something like that would have happened again. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS2 News.